Yo, yo, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome into the most electric segment in all of golf content. This is Launching Long Shots presented by the team over at Roto Baller. My name is Joe Idoni. At Tour Picks is where you can find me and all of my content on Twitter. At Roto Baller PGA is where you can find all the great content from an entire team of Avengers that we have over there producing high quality stuff each and every week. The stat buffet from Model Maniac, the DFS Wizard spreadsheets galore from Spencer. Joe Nicely's core four, all the stuff. We've got Matt Miller. We've got people covering Live Mayakoba this week. There is no better time than now to get in and join and be a part of the Roto Baller movement and team. The promo code active right now is the most ridiculous one in the entire industry. It's new, N E W. Type that in when you sign up. It gets your weekly down to under five dollars a week, five bucks a week for everything, access to all the tools access to the most in-depth stats in the industry, access to this video and the market movers piece that will be out tomorrow for AT&T Pebble Beach. It is the best deal around. I urge you to go join. Use that promo code noon. Come be a part of the team. Okay. Launching long shots. Listen, this is the season for this segment to have launched into the content space. Let me tell you, I haven't got the winner yet. But we've had four consecutive winners at over 100 to 1 odds. To put that into perspective, last season in 42 events, there were only three the entire season. This year, we're four for four. Let's get right into it. The Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Here's who I got tapped in and lined up for this week. The first player on launching long shots. Is that a price that he simply shouldn't be at? There are 80 to ones out there right now at multiple books across the board. And there were signs of life last week. Uh, I'm talking about Hideki Matsuyama. Here's the thing with Hideki. Um, I love the fact that he's played three events early in the season. He was fantastic tee to green last week. Gained nearly four strokes on approach that you see there. Gave it all back with the putter. That's okay. There isn't an abundance of course history at Pebble Beach for him, although he did top 20 at the U.S. Open that was held here in 2019. He's still playing fantastic. And here's the thing that I noticed about Hideki, and I brought this up on the podcast that I did. You want to find him early in the season. Um, his track record in terms of average finishing position is far greater before in the events early in the season leading up to the Masters. In fact, he has eight PGA Tour wins. Five of those have come from January to April in the Masters. After that, the remaining seven and a half, eight months of the year, he has three total career wins during that span. So he's doing nearly 70% of his winning before the end of April. This is the time to get Hideki. I think that, that speaks to his preparation leading into events. You can see by him taking on a number of tournaments early in the season. And we're just kind of waiting for this breakthrough. You see some of the numbers here to end the season. And we saw the tee to green stuff start to click again for Hideki. Struggling with the putter. We have really small, relatively flat, and slow greens at Pebble Beach that I think will help him out. It was one of those tournaments where... It was very classic Hideki, like I mentioned. He had, of course, the hole-in-one. He had a ridiculous Friday where he vaulted himself up the leaderboard and was in a tie for first, I believe, at one point. Then it came basically all the way back down to even par before birdieing five, I believe, of his final seven holes on the back nine of Sunday to, to get himself into that T13 finish. If he can avoid the bogey stretches that seem to plague him for nine holes throughout his rounds, I think he sets up really nice at Pebble. And the fact of the matter is, it's just a great number. Like, you look at these guys at 80-1, to one, and you have Bo Hostler, you have Eric Cole. Neither of them win. Adam Scott hasn't won in forever. Keegan Bradley wins very rarely. Sahith has one win in his career. Hideki, eight PGA Tour wins. The caliber of player and ball striker that he is, um, is hard to match. Okay. Here's who I got next. And this is a guy who has two in back-to-back -back years great finishes at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Here's the thing. You want guys that want to be here. And I know that we have a signature event and there are a ton of players that are obligated to play this event this year that maybe wouldn't normally do so. And they're probably happy to look no cut guaranteed monster purse potential payday. Uh, but would these players be here and do they enjoy the setup at Pebble Beach? 
had it not been for the signature event series. The majority of them, no. This is a guy who comes every year. This is a guy who anytime you talk about a tournament, and Jordan Spieth mentioned it in his press conference, that it's a dart-throwing contest with a pitching wedge and see who can hold the most putts. You know who holds more putts than just about anybody on the PGA Tour over the last However long you want to look, two, four, six, eight years, it's this guy right here. My boy, Denny McCarthy's back at Pebble. Um, here's where Denny's weakness is. It's off the tee. That stat and that category and skill set for a player is massively devalued at Pebble Beach. There are, on, on for, at the Farmers, for instance, there was 14 holes where you took driver. Here you may have seven, so you cut that in half. Um, that's his weakness is his ability to sort of sometimes get in bad rhythm and spray that club around. You're going to have a ton of holes where you can club down and just hit the fairway. It's so short that it can be a dart throwing competition. You look at the other short coastal courses, some of them that he's played, even going back a few months to the RSM classic, there's a T five. He's played really well in Bermuda over the years. Um, these are spots where you want Denny McCarthy on short courses that have forgiving fairways that really are going to accentuate his ability to hit wedges and put it well. Put it awesome at the Sony. Um, we haven't seen him yet in the California stretch of the season. So excited for him to get back out here where he T Ford last year. I had him on the card. It felt like there was a chance on that Monday finish until Justin Rose eventually pulled away. Denny's back. There are a hundred to ones out there. I've seen a couple hundred and tens. Um, feel free to grab anything 90 and above, which I highly recommend this week. Long shot number two, Denny McCarthy. And finally, you want to talk a former winner who's 175 to one here and not playing all that terribly, to be honest. Here's Tom Hoagie. Look, this stat pile profile looks very much like the one did when he he ended up winning this event a few years ago he's gaining strokes on approach um consistently now three consecutive events he's played four tournaments i mentioned how important tournament reps here of the last six winners they have either played two or three events in the january leading up to at&t pebble beach you have to have tournament reps i believe it's extremely important the guys that did not play a lot in the fall and just played the century and are in maybe a european tour event and are coming here and hoping to to capture this elevated and signature event purse i don't think are set up best for success Tom Hoagie's played four events. He's coming back to a place where he got his victory. He's gaining strokes on approach. It's a wedge fest. Why not go Tom Hoagie? Those are my long shots this week. I hope that you all enjoy this segment each and every week. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. I have a tendency to ramble on and start to talk really fast, so I've got to slow myself down. I appreciate you. I hope that you will be willing to join the team over at Roto Baller because we have a ton of fantastic stuff plan for the remainder of the season i have a one and done contest that is now live that starts from pebble beach to the end of the season dm me if you want the details to that at tour picks is the place you can find me on x i'm joe idoni this is launching long shots the best segment for the best year to ever hit long shots in the pga tour history 2024 it's on i'll talk to you guys soon thanks for checking us out um we'll see you next week peace